Good morning. Have a great Thursday. Well, we finally saw some much needed rain, but with the rain came the stronger thunderstorms yesterday. Had quite a bit of wind damage around the area and numerous people, thousands of people without power yesterday as well. So hopefully your power gets restored here soon. It was another hot day yesterday. We did make it to 95 degrees and really that was the story around the area. So we saw quite a bit of early morning sunshine that helped to really heat up the atmosphere and destabilize it as well. Remember, the National Weather Service had issued or elevated our risk for severe storms, and that's why we saw a couple of strong thunderstorms. The fish at McGee Tyson picking up a half an inch of rain, made it to 95, 37 hundredths of an inch at Crossville at 86. No rain officially in Chattanooga or Tri-Cities, but definitely toasty days with temperatures in the 90s, mid to upper 90s anyway. So as we looked at our rainfall over the last 24 hours, much needed rain. Again, not everybody picked up on a ton of moisture uh, but some of you got some good solid showers and hopefully you had a chance to enjoy that as well. Now, as we look ahead throughout the day today, well, that elevated rain chance, those elevated rain chances, I should say, are going to be with us again today and really over the next five to seven days. So you're going to need that interactive radar with the East Tennessee Weather app, by the way. Uh, if you don't have it now, download it today from the App Store. Just search East Tennessee Weather, all one word, because uh, it's going to keep you up to date on all the showers and thunderstorms. Now today we do have a, a little bit of an elevated risk for some isolated strong thunderstorms across Upper East Tennessee. Not expecting a lot there, uh, but I do anticipate most of the rain to be Upper East Tennessee mountain counties and down across the Southern Valley. So heading through the afternoon hours or into the noon hour, making, I could see a couple of showers. Here comes the frontal boundary though, and that's where I think we're gonna see the majority of the rain. Upper East Tennessee, Mountain County, Southern Valley, less likely to see those showers from basically Knox County, Northwest towards the uh, Fentress County, Cumberland Plateau area. So by seven o'clock tonight, that cold front's gonna be swinging its way on through. You can kind of see what I was talking about where those rain chances are gonna be a little bit more elevated today, a little bit less likely, uh, basically west of uh, downtown Knoxville. All right, so that's the story for the day today. But again, as we look ahead throughout the day today, we are also talking about some cooler temperatures. Cold front comes on through, it's gonna feel amazing. So by lunchtime, we're at 78 degrees. As we get into the afternoon, a huge difference. We're going to be below average with temperatures only in the mid to upper 80s. And yes, it's going to be muggy. Dew points are still going to be in the 70s, dropping a little bit behind the cold front uh, and upper, uh, in the, across the Cumberland Plateau. So not really much of a heat index value there. We'll have a little bit of a heat index value, uh, low to maybe mid 90s due to the fact that we have a tropical air mass in place. But the good news is, is the heat stress really goes down throughout the day today. And that's going to be the story over the next couple of days. So we're going to get rid of that excessive heat for just a little bit. 83 by 6 by 8, we're at 80, 75 degrees by 10 o'clock tonight. We should be partly cloudy skies as the rain slowly comes to an end. So we'll go 50% chance of rain today. We're going to go down to 40 tomorrow. There is, I think, the Mountain County, Southern Valley, Upper East Tennessee has a better chance of seeing some rain showers, but generally speaking, about 40% uh, percent. Saturday, we're going to bump that way up. We've got another disturbance moving its way in, and that's going to bring us widespread rain showers. And I know we've got the Granger County Tomato Festival on Saturday. I will be broadcasting live there from at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, come check out the Farm Bureau Insurance Tent, uh, the big giant red tent. We'll be handing out hats, and we'll be broadcasting, and we'll be saying hi. So come on out to the Granger County Tomato Festival despite the rain showers. The weatherman's going to be out there. We're going to see those rain chances elevated on Sunday and even next week. Next week's likely to be a lot more than this, uh, but just because it stays 5, 6, and 7, I'm going to keep it at about a 50% chance now. We'll tailor that up accordingly as we get closer to next week or through the upcoming weekend. All right, so here's a cold front uh, Thursday morning, this morning. Cold front moves its way on through, scattered showers, a few rumbles of thunder possible, but most of the rain's going to be to our south and southeast throughout the day. So if you have any travel plans down to Atlanta, Myrtle Beach, Charleston, Outer Banks, North Carolina, you're likely to get a little bit more rain. But here comes the next disturbance and this whole cold front is going to start to lift its way northward as a warm front as we get into our Friday and Saturday time frame. So that's what's going to bring us the widespread showers throughout the day on Saturday. You can see all that rain uh, that's going to set up shop. And then it starts to just kind of linger around the area as we get into Sunday. So let's pick up our timeline Saturday night. What we're looking at is available moisture. The reason why I want to show you this is while we don't have, a, we do have a lot of moisture to work with with the storms that are here throughout the next couple of days, but that's going to surge northward. That's going to surge a lot more moisture into the area. So all the way through our Sunday, notice the darker shades of reds. That's what we need to look at. Those are high uh, uh, numbers. So what we're looking at is, a, is, a, is a, it's called precipital water, uh, so available moisture. So as this moisture surges in, thanks to this Bermuda high, that's just pumping in this moisture into our Monday, 
We're going to continue to do it on into our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All these shades of reds uh, moving up right through the Tennessee Valley, thanks to this ridge of high pressure, is going to surge moisture into the area, which means we have the possibility of copious amounts of water. So as we look ahead from the Weather Prediction Center, all the way through Saturday, we could pick up over an inch of rain. Uh, around the area. Then we'll add to that as we get into our Saturday, or, excuse me, Sunday, Monday time frame, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to add to that more. So again, we went from an extreme drought situation to, well, now we're going to get copious amounts of rain. Uh, so grab the umbrellas. So by the way, if you don't have one, you can get one on the easttnweather.com on the shop store. All right, here we go. Dew points are going to stay on the elevated side. Obviously, I talked about the moisture, so that's going to keep our elevated dew points. So even though temperatures will be below average, we're still talking heat index values to be pushing into the 90s due to the fact of the high moisture content of the atmosphere. So we are going to be trending below average over the next five to seven days, and that trend may continue six to eight, six to 10, maybe eight to 14 days out. So something to kind of keep in mind. As I mentioned before, if you don't have the East Tennessee Weather app, you can download it easily. Just go to your app store and search East TN Weather, all one word. The interactive radar is great. We've got lightning data that gives you lightning information when it's within 15 miles of your location. And of course, all your weather updates throughout the day can be seen right there with your daily forecast weather updates at the top of the app. All right, we sure hope you have a great day. Again, like I said, grab the umbrellas and the rain jackets. You're going to need those over the next few days. Can't believe I'm saying that. That's amazing. See you soon.